Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. This is my second video in my series about the features in 2024 Release Wave 1. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the new SKU, which is called Microsoft Copilot for Sales. So the first thing that I want to mention, and I don't want anyone to panic right now, is that for most features that I'll be showing in this video today, you're going to need to have a Copilot for M365 license. Now, let me explain to you why that is. So Microsoft Copilot for Sales is a new SKU, which will be available starting February 1st of 2024. It will have a price tag of $50 per user per month, and this license will include a Copilot for Microsoft 365 license. Now, keep in mind that you're going to need to have a Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 license in order to be able to purchase Microsoft Copilot for sales. Now, the next question is probably going to be, okay, well, what if I already have Copilot for M365? Well, if that's the case, then you can purchase Copilot for sales for an additional $20 per user per month. And customers who have a Dynamics 365 sales premium license can pay $30 per user per month to add Copilot for Microsoft 365 and then get that full Microsoft Copilot for Sales experience. Now, your next question is probably going to be about the difference between this new SKU for Microsoft Copilot for Sales and the features that we have today. So I have a really nice slide for that. As you can see here, uh, according to Microsoft, the Sales Copilot features, previously known as Viva Sales and Sales Copilot, which you can kind of see in that dark red uh, section there in the middle, these are the features that are available today, right? So those are going to be part of Dynamics 365 Sales and will continue to be available at no additional cost. So all the new features that require a Copilot for M365 license, those are going to be falling under that new Copilot for sales license. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of a clarification about the licensing for Copilot for sales. When you look at the release notes for Microsoft Copilot for sales, you'll notice the cross app experiences section and the features under this section look very similar which is why i grouped them together on one slide now the results of all of these features combined mean that copilot will be able to assist sellers even better for example by looking at customer interactions such as emails and meetings from which it can then extract information like customer data customer asks follow-ups etc now let's start with the highlight sales information such as budget and stakeholders in customer interactions feature. So this is what I'm talking about, right? So when you read the release notes, it actually says related to this feature that meeting and email summaries highlight budget, stakeholders, customer needs, and timelines mentioned by your customer and provide relevant next steps. The generated email content suggests that you solicit the customer for relevant information in case it's missing. So I'm guessing that Copilot will be able to generate emails and meeting summaries based on certain things that were mentioned by a customer right during a meeting or in an email. Now, when we talk about the highlight buying intent and provide relevant next steps feature, this seems to be part of right that previous feature as well. The difference here being that the summaries, the, the, the meeting summaries will also include buying intentions that were mentioned by the customer, right? And both of these features 
today's show a public preview date of April, so I guess we'll have to find out until April to see if I'm actually right. But I found an image, and I think this kind of shows you what that could look like, right? So this is actually an email uh, where Copilot says, hey, based on the email from Eric, it seems like he's interested in moving forward, so now you can qualify this lead in Dynamics 365. Pretty cool stuff, right? All right, so let's take a look at the next one. Detect customer asks and suggest responses. So this means that Copilot will be able to identify disparities between what your customers are asking about in emails and meetings or, or documents, right? And then what is stored in CRM and other places. Think about SharePoint. So according to this, Copilot will create suggested responses based on those disparities. And the same goes for highlight customer issues and provide relevant next steps. Uh, that feature where issues are identified and then action items are created by Copilot. We see that a lot about those action items. The highlight key insights about the situation of the deal has Copilot provide information on the deal status while giving sellers more suggestions regarding information that they should bring to the customer. So you're going to see, right, that it's really kind of merging with the functionality that we've already seen in Microsoft or Copilot from Microsoft 365, right, where there are some suggestions there. But these suggestions that I'm talking about are going to be suggestions also based on content in Dynamics 365 or your CRM system and maybe even in SharePoint as well. So some pretty cool stuff here. Now, this next feature, you can kind of see here on the slide that I actually went into the 2024 release wave and I copied and pasted the feature details from right those release notes in here. So you can kind of uh, look at that as well as I'm trying to explain this next feature. So this feature is called Suggest Updates to CRM Opportunity. And it kind of plays nicely into the scenario that I was already talking about, right? Because Copilot is going to uh, show suggestions to update opportunity rows. Now, again, suggestions are going to be based on emails and conversations that a seller has had with a customer. So some of these update suggestions could be, you know, a close date, right? Estimated close date update or revenue update, etc. So this is definitely going to make it a lot easier, right? To keep your sales data up to date. And I kind of found this screenshot here. So you can see under follow-up tasks, it says that Eric would like the deal done by the end of January. And then it says update the opportunity. So that's basically what that could look like from within a Microsoft Teams meeting. Now, here's one uh, that I uh, read about, generate profiles of key stakeholders. And it kind of talks about how Copilot for Sales generates a profile of these stakeholders based on public and internal data sources like CRM and SharePoint. But I'm not sure what this means. Now, unfortunately, this feature will not be in public preview until August. So I guess we'll have to wait a little bit for this one. Now, this one is one that I'm very excited about. And this one is the ability to extend Microsoft Copilot for sales. So what this means exactly is kind of unclear at this point, right? We know that we're going to be able to extend Copilot for sales, but not sure exactly what that means, right? How far can we extend it? What what are some of those things that we can do? Now, I did notice when I opened my Copilot Studio that the Sales Copilot Power Virtual Agent bot was sitting there. So this is currently something that we cannot configure. It's sitting there, but we cannot configure uh, any of those topics that are in there. But my guess is that that will be the place where we're going to be able to configure additional functionality for Sales Copilot. So we will see. Uh, according to the release notes, we'll be able to extend Copilot experiences both in Outlook and in Teams. So that kind of sounds like not the experience inside of Dynamics 365 Sales. 
But again, we're going to have to wait and see uh, what is true. When I saw how the integrate Copilot for sales with Copilot and Microsoft Word feature works, I was totally blown away. Now, this feature is going to allow sellers to use Copilot for sales inside of Microsoft Word to generate sales meeting prep documents with all sorts of relevant information for a deal. Now, usually sellers would spend a lot of time on gathering this type of information right before they meet with the client. But this way, Copilot will be able to do it all for them. Now, if you've seen Copilot for Microsoft 365 in Word, then you'll see that this is very familiar. But this feature actually allows sellers to also create a document based on data from sales, right? So sales meetings, I'm guessing those are Microsoft Teams meetings and other sales documents as well to create that meeting prep document. You can kind of see here uh, on the slide what that looks like. Now, even though today when I looked at the release notes, they don't mention the need for Copilot for Microsoft 365 for that license to take advantage of this feature. I actually checked with Microsoft and they said that that was actually something that they needed to update in the release notes which means you will need a license for Copilot for Microsoft 365, right? Or of course, Copilot for sales, because that includes that Copilot for Microsoft 365 license, as I said earlier as well. So there are two items under the Microsoft Copilot for sales Outlook experiences category. I'm not 100% clear on what they mean. Now, the first one is called Integrate Copilot for Sales with Outlook Email Drafts. And the other one is called Integrate Copilot for Sales with Outlook Email Summaries. Now, the way that I interpret these features is that Copilot and Outlook will be tighter integrated inside of Outlook. So we might see some of the Copilot buttons sitting inside of the Outlook application versus that side pane, right? Or the sidecar or whatever they, they call that site thing. <laughs> so um, these features are actually listed for public preview in April. So I can't wait to see if what I thought it was, if that was actually correct. We'll have to wait and see. Now, there are plenty of updates to the Copilot for Teams experience. Now, I'm not sure what this feature does exactly, but my guess is that we will be able to get a combination of access to CRM data directly inside of the Teams chat. Now, today we can share CRM cards inside of Teams, right? But this feature will most likely be more robust and the feature will actually be general generally available in April. And then this feature allows users to access several new capabilities directly from the meeting summary page. So my assumption is that after a meeting is completed, the user will be able to see action items, conversational KPIs, sales, keywords, and questions that were asked during the meeting. And then on top of that, we'll also see some speaker sentiments. Now you can see here, um, this is kind of showing you, right? The people that are in there, the questions that are asked by sellers. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of what that might look like. Now, this feature will allow sellers to share email summaries and other Outlook information directly inside Microsoft Teams group chats. Now, it also mentions being able to use Copilot to create opportunity sum summaries in Teams group chats. And that is something that we can currently only do in deal rooms. So that would be um, quite a nice, nice upgrade from from what we can do today um, as well. And being able to collaborate with sales teams using AI powered planner tasks sounds pretty amazing to me. So Copilot will look at conversations for action items, right? Once it finds them, it's then gonna suggest tasks to create for those 
uh, those things that it fa found in the conversations. And then if the seller approves the suggestion, Copilot is automatically going to create these planner tasks from those suggestions. And then those tasks can be assigned to sellers. Now, sellers will see a task app pinned to the related Teams channel, providing the sales team with a centralized view of all of those tasks. But as an individual seller, you can also see your assigned tasks from a personal task app. Now, this functionality will be available both inside of Dynamics 365 and Salesforce as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, and on top of that, I wanted to mention that this feature is not going to roll out to all of the geographical area. So make sure that you check the release notes to see that full list of all of the countries. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.